What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Matt and today we're going to take a look at the Freemax Twister Kit. If you're new to the channel, I do videos like this, mod reviews, tank reviews, accessory reviews. I'm going to be doing some build and wicking tutorials and hopefully some vlogs and live streaming in the future. So if you want to get notified every time I post a video, you can click the bell. I do videos Wednesdays and Saturdays and I'm going to stick to that schedule. And basically on this channel, I try and put up review first impression videos as soon as Whatever it is I'm taking a look at hits the general public so that you guys can know so then you can make your decision if you want to buy it or not. So without any further delays, let's get right into the packaging that the Freemax Twister Kit comes in. Alright guys, here's the packaging that the uh, Twister Kit came in by Freemax. So this is just an exterior sleeve. Inside that sleeve, your Twister Mod and your Fire Luke 2 tank. Alright guys, so inside all that packaging you're going to get your micro USB for charging, bag of O-rings, user manual, warning card, and a warranty card. Alright, so let's take a look at this Fire Luke 2 mesh sub-ohm tank. So it's 24 millimeters in diameter at the bottom here, we'll take a look. It does say Freemax, you get a gold plated 510 pin. And then let's let's uh, we get an 810 drip tip, and that bore is just huge on that. This is push to fill. You know your red dot will show you where you're gonna push, and you just push right open, and then that'll be your fill there. So let's go ahead and open this up. This does come with two mesh coil heads. You get your single here, which is is it one five, and that's recommended 40 to 90 watts, and that is just single and it is mesh. And then your pre-installed installed is dual mesh coil heads that are 0.2 ohms and that's 40 to 80 watts so you can see right inside there I don't know if it'll really be able to clarify I don't have a good macro lens but it is two mesh coil heads so we're gonna go ahead and we'll prime that so like I said push to fill on the red dot so we'll just push that right open go ahead and fill all right so that's all filled go ahead and we'll close that we'll set that aside and we'll take a look at the actual mod. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is this is your this is your uh, your airflow slot at the bottom here. Let's take a look at that. So yep, there you go there, and that is uh, that does um, have a hard stop. So you'll have that one on each side, and it does have a hard stop. So all right, here is your actual mod. Now this mod is 101.6 tall and it's 24.7 at the base. At your base here, you do have your uh, section where you would adjust your wattage. Now this is twist and it does go up in 5 watt increments from 5 all the way to 80. Here is your fire button, 5 clicks on, 5 clicks off, and it does have an LED that's going to tell you your indication for your, uh, for your battery life. And it is a 2300 milliamp battery. Um, your battery life, if it's green, you got 100 to 65 percent, yellow it's 65 to 30 red is 30 to 0 um, and if you're charging it's gonna flash blue so like I said five clicks on five clicks off the graphic on this is it's very nice um, it does have a stainless steel 510 pin in there Let's see if you can look at that um, it is it is gold plated by the way um, let's let's talk about the color so these colors you're gonna get a space black a black you're gonna get red green like this one blue and then orange now by far I think the red and the green have been their most popular when I went to order this all they had left was the green so I went ahead and grabbed that so these are definitely cool it's definitely different it's not it's not too plain obviously um, so let's go ahead and we'll put on the fire loop 2 we'll take a look at uh, that I love a good mesh sub ohm tank and like I said I do have the dual the dual mesh it's cool that you get another Another bubble glass, five milliliter capacity. Um, we'll take another look at the push to fill there, if we can get that to clarify. So yeah, that that push to fill your fill slot that that is pretty small. I mean, you saw on camera I I spilled just trying to fill it. Um, so it probably would have been nice if that was a little longer. But here is here is the full look. The Freemax Twister Kit. And uh, right down here at the bottom, I'll see how close I can get without it losing uh, losing focus. Um, it does tell you your your wattage right down here at the bottom. Like I said, it does go up in uh, 
in five watt increments. So you just turn this and it, and it goes right up. I don't have a good macro lens, like I said, so you might not be able to see to see the actual wattage. So yeah, this is this is the Freemax Twister. So let's go back up top. We'll give it a vape, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we are back up top, and this is the Freemax Twister Kit, 80-watt starter kit by Freemax. Um, so let's go ahead and give it a vape. I have the dual mesh coil heads in here, um, and I have the airflow wide open, and I got it at uh, 65 watts. So let's go ahead, and we'll give it a vape. Yeah, the uh, the air the airflow with this dual coil head in here is just so smooth, super super smooth. I love it. The flavor I'm getting off of this mesh is just nine out of ten. I'm definitely gonna say nine out of ten. And the restrictiveness of these coils is just is there's just barely any restrictiveness. It's just very smooth. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna bump it up to seventy watts. I'm gonna leave the airflow wide open. And let's give it another vape. The airflow is a little loud. It does sound a little loud when you're giving it a good pull. But this thing, this thing is just is just awesome. It's awesome. I didn't get to show you guys the e-liquid that I'm rocking. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Alright, so the e-liquid I'm rocking is Yami Vapors Jusu and I did get that on VaporDNA.com that is trending their taro flavor is wicked good if you love desserts you can check that out so let's keep this quick no more about liquids let's do uh, pros and cons about the twister kit 80 watts 80 watts that is that is fine that is a great starter kit I love the mesh coil heads 5 milliliters on your bubble glass that is that's awesome, you know, that, that's, that's great. Just trying to get that to clarify. Um, nice red dot for your push to fill, that's nice. The size of the slot for your fill slot, since it does have, you know, you, you got liquid going in and your air coming out. I don't like how long, how, uh, how long, I don't like how short that is because as I was filling it on camera, which is something I don't normally do, but it did overfill on the top. So if it was a little longer, Maybe you'd be able to get your, your needle off of your bottle right inside and then you still have a big enough section of air to come out so you don't have that, fl that flooding issue. Um, the airflow, I love that there's a hard stop on this airflow and the restrictiveness is nice. It's not too loose so you don't have to worry about it like bumping closed or opening all the way um, if you don't want it to. The hard stop is very nice on that. The drip tip, I love the drip tip. It's got the 810 drip tip. It, it is it is huge, but like that's that's nice. And this is just this is just a cool, it's just a cool pen. You know, 80 watts, great starter kit. Get your airflow on the bottom there, um, and and yeah, uh, cons. Let's let's talk about some more cons. I don't think I really have any cons besides the size of that that fill. I mean, the graphic is great. The push the button is very clicky. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, probably my only solid con is just the size of that fill slot. That's it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And if you want to get notified every time I post a video, go ahead and click the bell. Pretty sure I said it at the beginning, but I post videos Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm going to stick to that schedule. And have a good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. And thanks again for watching. Until next time, guys.